वेलकम टू जू आई एम सो सॉरी फॉर द शेकीनेस आई डोंट नो मे बी एन आथ को एक हिट डेली बट आई थिंक दैट्स नॉट द केस इज जस्ट दैट माई ट्राई पॉट इज शेकिंग इट सेल्फ टू ग्लोरी सो एनी इज वेलकम वेलकम हुएवर इज हियर गिव मी अ हाई फाइव इफ यू आर हियर जस्ट सेंड इन अ हाई आई वुड नो दैन दैट यू आर हियर एंड यू टून इन टूडे टूडे वी गॉन बी मेकिंग अ ब्यूटिफुल ब्यूटिफुल डिश आई लव इट पर्सनली आई एम नॉट अ वेरी बिग स्वीट love her, but i love this dish and everyone in my family loves it and there is actually nothing to not like it okay so i'll talk to you a little bit about the whole uh, sweet the the sweet that we are making and the ingredients that we are using so today we are going to be using some really interesting ingredient which you can see right here i have it and i'll tell you about all the substitutions as well don't worry if you don't have nolan gur then what can you do but i highly recommend that you go and find nolan gur in one of your uh, grocery stores hi somebody just tuned in just give me a high five uh then i would know that you are here um just say hi to me if you can all right so let's get started okay let's do the recipe all right so today we are going to be doing only two ingredient recipe so imagine it's just two ingredients it's going to be amazing it's going to be great and all we are going to do is you know make it in a mixer grinder okay it's that simple all right so let's talk about this recipe this is called makha sandesh okay hi somebody did say hi to me so hello hello back uh so just just write down in the comment where you are uh, signing in from so that i know where you guys are from as well uh i will try and reply back uh you know as soon as my live video is done all right okay so let's get started with the recipe so we are going to be doing makha sandesh sandesh is a beautiful beautiful dish from bengal it's a sweet dish obviously and we use chana which is paneer which is cottage cheese to make this okay it's a nice rich dessert so today i'm going to be using this cottage cheese here all right a little bit about cottage cheese you can make it in the house as well uh you can make uh, the the ones which we make it in the house we normally call it chana uh, it's basically it, it is not that hardened okay and it's nice and soft it's an amazing thing you can actually make it in the house this um the freshness would be amazing uh but if you have a vendor who is selling you a block of paneer just like that which is nice and fresh then you i i highly recommend that you go and buy it because it will actually be cheaper for you that way all right uh if you want the calculation i'll just quickly do it for you uh you know if if it is a 200 uh, gram block just like this would cost you at about 60 rupees yeah for 200 grams and to make this at home you would need about 2 liters of milk okay and you have to have full fat milk because it's malai paneer that you are looking at okay so full fat milk is pretty expensive i think it is 45 rupees a liter maybe i'm wrong but somewhere close to that so you know you're just spending in 90 uh, uh, rupees just to make chana and you have gas there you have other things you have fuel cost so it's much easier much better and if you know this is i know uh, my vegetable vendor gets it every day fresh and i have tasted it i have eaten it so i know about the freshness of this if you have somebody like that then you do go and get a block of paneer from there okay so this is beautiful this is nice and creamy and i'll i'm going to start uh you know just crumbling it with hands it's it's a beautiful beautiful oh look at that all the you know uh so nice and light and you know that this is good quality stuff when uh, the moment you start tearing on it just breaks so you know there's nothing that has gone in as a preservative or 
uh, you know bad things the chemicals the stabilizers and stuff that, uh, like that okay so if you have a vendor like this like the guy that i know and that way you know you you are also going to take care of his little business and which is which is amazing and i think we need to <laughs> you know give a little bit of uh, credit to our local business people as well all right so i have crumbled my paneer very well now to the second part of the recipe which is the sweetener of your choice i am using something which is very very close to my heart which is nolen gourd okay nolen gourd is basically uh, dates ka jaggery okay to so, dates jo hota hai na dekhiye yahan pe likha hua hai natural date palm so it's it's almost like maple syrup of india or rather maple syrup of bengalis <laughs> it's very nice it's a very low calorie sweetener it has a very beautiful woody taste to it if you haven't tried it do try it this is bishu bangla ka nolen gourd uh, they actually do it in a tube like this which is amazing and i i somehow feel it's it's a wonderful way of starting uh, but if you live in calcutta or you have somebody who lives in calcutta and if you can get uh somebody to give you a block of nolen gourd there's nothing like it okay and all you do is just take that block and put it in the microwave till it it is you know loosen up it's 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 loosened up a little bit and that is all the sweetness that you need okay if you don't have it or you don't have a way of getting nolen gourd then what can you do how can you substitute so let me talk to you about that as well what you can do is you can do the maple syrup way you can go the maple syrup way it's it's a beautiful product it's basically a maple tree uh it's it's almost like that you know that's a maple leaf so it's a tree uska jo ras hota hai that's so so sweet and it's actually the same product you know ye date se banta hai aur ye maple se banta hai so it's the same thing the only thing that you have to have to check before buying is that it should be pure maple syrup okay there should not be any uh chemicals added into it it should not have anything else okay it should be pure see it's written no additives or preservatives okay so you need something like that i'm not trying to sell you this uh, this brand of um, maple syrup i'm not too sure oh it's a, it's a product of canada itself um but there are loads of other companies also who are making beautiful 100% maple syrup you can buy this and you can substitute dates jaggery with maple syrup okay and uh, if you don't have either because uh, let's face it maple syrup is extremely expensive i think this this 250 ml of bottle is about uh oh yeah there it's 825 rupees oh uh, it's extremely expensive and i understand if you don't want to buy it and there's no point of uh, buying it also then what can you do then please go towards amul mithai made can you see it yeah so you know this is again another very very clean product uh see it's got only sugar and milk solids and that is all that you're looking at okay so you should have things which are clean you should not have things which uh, which have uh, products added to it just to increase the shelf life so uh, so if you ask me how how do they increase the shelf life of a condensed milk can just like that you know without adding any preservative well they have canned it you know the scanning process is a process in itself and that way you can preserve this for a year okay if you don't open it it will go for a year if you open it again condensed milk is a very very stabilized product because we are we have actually taken out most of the moisture out of the milk when it is made like that so if you open it you can use it till 2 weeks uh, but you need to refrigerate it at that point okay so if you are using condensed milk then you don't need a splash of milk but i am not using and as you can see my sweetener is quite thick so i'm going to use a splash of milk just to thin it out uh just 
स्प्लैश ओके ये अभी भी टू इंग्रीडियंट ही है बेसिकली आपका पनीर और आपका स्वीटनर इट इज जस्ट दैट बट ऑब्वियसली एनी थिंग वेन एवर यूर कुकिंग एनी थिंग यू नीड अ लिटल बेट ऑफ सॉल्ट ओके सो दैट सॉल्ट अ लिटल पिंच ऑफ सॉल्ट इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इट टेक्स आउट द फ्लेवर प्रोफाइल ऑफ एनी डिश इवन इफ इट इज अ स्वीट इट टेक्स इट आउट एंड ओ हाई समबडी जस्ट joined in hi hi leave me a comment below uh, i would love to uh, read it and reply back if you have any questions do comment below we are making makha shondesh today so for people who have just joined in we are making makha shondesh today and it's an amazing amazing thing it's just two ingredients that's it salt i don't count as an ingredient you would always have salt in your house right and the splash of milk is uh, optional but as you can see my my uh, you know i'm using store bought uh, paneer and my sweetener is quite thick so i would need a little bit of milk to uh, you know lighten the mixture all right so let's get started with the recipe no cooking involved at all yeah it's a indian sweet without any cooking how cool can that be all right so we will take a mixer jar okay this mixer jar has been with me for about 8 years now okay so don't look at how uh, you know how how not clean that is or something it has lived its life with me and it is still doing a wonderful job so i'm just not going to you know uh, throw this guy away because it it, it is it's doing wonderful job so minimize wastage is one of my biggest biggest big motto all right so we are going to take my paneer my crumbled beautiful paneer and very nicely i'll put put it in i've uh, added a pinch of salt on the crumbled paneer okay just a pinch not too much obviously it's a sweet but you need that salt I've washed the paneer, the block of paneer, and I let uh, it have a little bit of moisture in. Okay, so there you go. All my paneer is in. Hi guys, please do comment below and say hi to me so that I know you've just joined in. Hi. All right, so a splash of milk goes in. Okay, just enough so that it it goes. Uh, it it it's beautifully. you know mix as well all right so the lid goes up and i'm going to just just come here for 2 minutes so that i can whiz it okay uh i apologize but ye maine jaise ki bola hi this machine i'll just show it to you can you see it that's usha one of my favorite machines uh this machine is with me for 8 years now okay so it is going to make a little bit of sound but trust me it is doing its job perfectly well and i see no reason to change it but uh, and and you know what let's make it a point of interaction also between you and me in a comment below why don't you write about these kind of machines that you have in your kitchen which has lasted you forever So just just give me a comment and tell me about it okay so i apologize for the sound that is gonna come out of this machine right now but we are gonna start whizzing yeah also you know if you if you have like um, a recipe request for me to do live uh then you can just leave a comment below about that as well and i'll try my little best to get it for you all right so i'm just uh did you see uh, how i'm i'm just whipping it okay i'm not uh, i'll i'll do a little bit of whip i'll do a little bit of you know uh mixing i'll do both of them in at equal intervals so that we get a very nice and creamy product at in the end okay Whoa! All right. So let me check. Okay, it needs a little more moisture. A little more moisture. Let's see. So right now it looks a little bit like that. Can you see it? Uh, yeah, yeah. 
so it looks a little bit like that but we need a little more moisture now uh, and I'll start adding my sweetener also okay so I've got some uh, teaspoons with me because there's no recipe frankly speaking this is a grandmom's recipe the there cannot be any measurements any uh, you know amount it's not a cake recipe you can choose to put in as much of good as your taste bird asks you to okay so I have added I've just left a little bit you know I've added most of my uh, you know microwave good which is still slightly warm I've added it I've added a little more milk also because I want the texture to be smoother yeah and now again there's only one thing to do Wait. live we are not supposed to touch the phone at all <laughs> all right so look at that oh beautiful beautiful uh, I'll just show you the texture now can you see look at that isn't it amazing I mean tell me if you need another ice cream ever in your life after making this trust me our Indian cuisine and I is full of surprising things that we have forgotten and I think you know I'll, I'll try my level best to get it all out uh, especially people who have ever come to my house or people whom I have fed in my restaurant yes I do run restaurants I have two restaurants right now they are QSR which is quick selling restaurants uh, in Gurgaon and uh, yeah, even, even in those restaurants, the whole idea was to give you food which you have forgotten, you know. So things like khichdi, you know, things like khichdi. I mean, how often do you eat khichdi now? Mm, there is a comment. Oh, please let me know where can I get this gur in Gurgaon. Wonderful, wonderful question. Yes. Um, so, in Gurgaon, uh, because I live in Gurgaon right now, so I know a little bit uh, about the market scene. You will get this gur in... Hi, hi, Vishnu Priya. Oh, hi. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much. So, in Gurgaon right now, you will get this uh, gur in any shop which sells uh, Bengali sweet or Bengali uh, grocery items okay so in Vepar Kendra there is a shop that I know of uh, it's called The Light uh, I, 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 I am not a big fan of it but uh, but it does talk up a lot of Bengali staples that I use okay and if you have a relative or somebody who lives in Calcutta, I think that would be the best place to get it, okay? Any, any day. Alright, so whoever is joining in, please, please do write me a comment, give me a thumbs up, you know, if you like what you are looking at. Uh, trust me, we are making Indian ice cream because it cannot be called anything else. Trust me, trust me, it's gonna be so, so yummy. Alright, so again I'm gonna start whizzing. Ah, I'm so sorry for the noise guys. It was a great idea to do it today. With my son off in the school. Oh, otherwise he would have been dancing around me every time I, I you know, put the noise on. <laughs> By the way, this is a amazing way of getting good protein in your baby's diet if you have a toddler or a baby of about 10 months who is okay with protein right now 
you can actually give it to them as a meal okay it's it's packed full of goodness it's got good fibers out of the dates jaggery it's got good protein out of the paneer that we have used and um, if you can just just give him a banana or something along with it uh, that would be the best thing ever trust me they will thank you forever right. i think this should be the last i didn't need so much of good also so so, so if you if you buy good quality products trust me you won't need a lot of it to sweeten anything because good quality products बहुत दिन तक लास्ट करता है आपके फ्रिज में या पेंट्री में बिकॉज उनको आपको इतनी बार यूज करने की जरूरत नहीं पड़ती है आप थोड़ा सा यूज करोगे एंड इट विल लास्ट यू फॉर एवर मतलब कम से कम तीन चार महीने आराम से इट विल लास्ट यू बट इफ यू हैव बॉट दिस गुड इट हैज टू बी रेफ्रिजरेटेड और एट टाइम्स यू नो वॉट आई डू इज आई फ्रीज इट so you buy it uh, the the good you can buy a ball of good uh, from any of your bengali grocery store by the way in gurgaon i am not too sure okay delight it's the only option that is coming to me but if you can just go to delhi cr park will have amazing places for you to buy this good and i think they would store it right now as well I think so. I think so because these uh, the the stores that I'm talking about are quite big. They are like almost grocery stores, you know, that we know of. Kirana Dukan. So, वो लोग शायद रखेंगे. Otherwise, yeah, there is another option that I have talked to you about in the beginning of. So, uh, as I was talking to you about Bisho Bangla, this is a government uh, organization which is selling. these amazing products so you can also check it out i think they have outlets in most of the airports uh all the big airports in india has an outlet like that all right so now let's do the big unveiling now lots of chitter chatter all right so i don't need this so so i tasted mm. Ah, look at that! Look at that! Let me just quickly grab onto a spatula so that I can show it to you, uh, which I obviously forgot to keep with me before my mistake. <laughs> Sorry. Ah, just see. Look at the texture, the spoon dropping consistency. This is what you're looking at, and now. You know this is this is a very very amazing sweet. Uh, you just make enough and just keep making it. Don't make a big batch of it at a at a time and think that oh I'm gonna refrigerate it and eat it all the time. Uh, that may not be a great idea. Okay, so this is the best freshest. Uh, I'm gonna just put it in this beautiful bowl here, which has been gifted. by porosil company a big high five for them as well i love their products and i love them as a company as well all right so in it goes and all i'm going to do now is refrigerate it for about an hour okay so i made it right now this is for i have some people coming over for lunch today and i'm going to serve it as as a uh you know uh dessert for them so look at that look at that oh look at the creaminess oh beautiful beautiful tell me if you need another ever would you need uh ice cream a store bought ice cream after this okay just just write in a comment below if you ever make it send me some picture love show me how it turned out to be um uh, and you can you know always what i like to do is you know uh, i'll just show you how i plate it but first <laughs> some quick street we need to have some quick street oh look at that oh yummy mm just but mm yummy it's beautifully yummy just perfect now You know, I'm gonna just just quickly get as much as possible out. 
the rest of it would be a cook's treat trust me and i need it <laughs> I had uh, used some cold milks and uh, even my paneer was like a slightly cold paneer so that's why it's quite chilled already and it's tasting beautiful okay mm. so there you go now I'm gonna show you how to plate it okay with a spatula just make a nice little design, okay? Perfect. And now, take that gourd that we have hmm? and just drop it, okay? On top of your dessert. Just drop it. Don't think it's not looking good, bad, ugly, whatever. I'll just take another spoon and help me uh, guide it. And just, just drop a little bit of, you know, good. This is beautifully sweet, but you can all always serve a little more good alongside. Cheers.